I wanted to give this um, gel print idea another try. Oh, that's definitely too little paint because I thought little is better, but that was too little. So let's put only one color there and then just apply it onto the background with a prayer. Just, just, um, I still need to find out what's the exact amount that you need to apply <laughs> to have a really nice coverage but not too thick so I think now we're getting there so I'm just applying the red this is um, what is this called uh, I don't know I really don't know I think it doesn't say oh yes it says violet um, and then I'm going to do the print with the stamp and I can take this and apply this residue into a tissue paper like that leave it to dry and all this paint that gets stuck into this sprayer you can also roll it like this so you can create backgrounds for art journaling, starting points, just wipe it somewhere because it's a shame to put it a waste and then let that dry a bit and I'm going to try something, I'm not good at this but let's see if that works I'm going to put another color on top Let's see if it works or if I just I ruined it I don't know how to do this anyhow the idea was to have two layers on top of each other and now they are just there in my prayer <laughs> help it didn't work that was the idea to get you know the background and I think I need to dry, let that dry a little bit longer so let's do it again don't give up. So I make this one. And I'll apply the paint. Oopsie. Okay. Then I'll take my stamp. This is the other pattern stamp that press it into the gel plate you can also take a stencil or whatever some other images too and then I'll just press the residue into the background there was not much left and I will leave that to dry a little bit and I'll take another one let's take a round one and do the same so this is from Jelly Arts. They have three different mini printing plates in a set. So there's the round one, there's a triangle and a square. And um, I'll do the same. I'll just take a different color. Let's take, let's take this one. This is rosa. So a little bit lighter tone. And apply the paint. I think that was too much paint actually this time. We'll see. Okay, nice coverage. And then let's take the butterflies. Okay. And let's stamp that over there. Leave that to dry. So I've now got this pattern here and this pattern here. And I hope it's dry enough. How do you know when it's dry enough? I have no clue. So let's take a dry prayer. Hopefully this one is drier. Not quite yet. Let's, let's see. And then 
take the orange. So let's hope this works. I want to make this work. I think this might even work this time. I didn't grab all the paint from the first pattern. So now this is what I want to create. So I've got violet flowers and an orange background and I'm hoping this one works. Yes, I made it. I can't believe it. I made it. So this is what I wanted to show you. And you can create this using these DIY stamps and that's really cool. So let's hope that the, these are actually not butterflies, these are dragonflies. Let's hope that this one is dry enough. What should we take? Let's take blue. What do you say? I hope it's dry enough. Please be dry, please be dry. I don't want to ruin you. And then just do a few spots. And I'm just using Amsterdam tiny, tiny acrylic tubes of paint because I don't want them to dry out. So I'm not hoarding, I'm using up and then I'll go and buy another color. I think I just ruined that one. It wasn't dry enough. Let's see. But it could work at least partly. So I would get this really nice image here. Yeah, I ruined it. But you get the idea. So that one was that one was much better than this one. And there. I've got the dragonfly kind of stuck to the paper. Okay, let's do another one. Don't we are not going to give up and I have plenty of paint here already so I'm just going to apply the light blue here then I'll take this one of the stamps that I've made and there's my pattern I come closer to the camera so you can see it isn't that pretty let's leave it to dry let's apply this paint here just on top of the other one and let's do here I don't know let's do orange first let's see if that works I think I'm trying to save paint too much and now it's too much paint again so I never get the the amount right. <laughs> I don't know why. But this is also something you have to learn. Configure. Okay. So now I'll take this one and add the stamp image on top and press it a little bit. And I get this really nice lift of color. And let's put it on the tissue. There it is. Can you see that? So I've got random patterns on top of each other and I don't mind at all because you can use that as a starting point for something. So let's leave that to dry and let's then hope that this one is ready. I just clean the prayer a little bit so that it's drier. And then what shall we take? Let's take got this really nice turquoise here, greenish turquoise. Let's put that on this one. Do you think you can see that? I probably not. Let's take, I don't know, let's take green. So we're just testing, so never mind. You know someone that does this really well is Birgit Kupsen. I hope I said her name right. She's a mastermind of gel printing and she has really nice tutorials on 
her Instagram account and YouTube and I'm just mimicking her ideas here because I want to learn to do them myself too. I think this time it worked but I got the colors wrong so I could have taken a lighter color but never mind you can still see the pattern in there already can you see that there it is and now lift off and I've got my beautiful blue pattern in there hidden amongst the green one and then I could go over this and use the paint from the brayer and do another one oh I love this and then let's put that over there this one is good this one worked out really nice and that can dry over there and here let's take what should we take let's take the orange I think orange is a good color uh, the pink sorry I think I'm starting to get the hang of this one here and I'm not supposed to press too hard I'm just slightly rolling over it very lightly and then let's create the pattern love it I just love it and imagine using that piece somewhere in an artwork and adding some you know, you could stamp on top of that or do some stenciling or paste or whatever. That looks lovely. Can you see that? It's really pretty. So that's the idea. And lots and lots of fun. I don't know if I have enough paint here on my brayer, but I'm going to test this with the red one. And I think it works. So you only need a light layer. And I've got colors mixed there. Can you see there's the blue residue still in there? But the red and the green one worked really nice. Look! Perfect. Now I'm getting there. So you get the idea. So this is something I really, really like to do. This is very addictive. And like I said, this is by no means my own idea. This is something lots and lots of crafters have been doing with gel pl uh, plates um, for a while now and you can find lots and lots of tutorials on YouTube but I wanted to show you how you could use this type of DIY stamps with gel plates and acrylic paints uh, jelly plate and acrylic paints so you can create these really fun starting points for your artwork projects I'm going to let that dry and save it for later and you can also do tissue paper, you can create your own tissue papers. Use all the residue inks you have or paints or whatever. Spray a little bit of water on top and just press it in there and create a nice pattern that you could put on a candle for example. Make your, like you do in kindergarten, these DIY candles that you decorate just melt the wax a little bit and put this tissue on top would make really nice little pieces on a candle for example and that's it that's the idea of today and I hope you, I gave you some more ideas, inspiration and information about what you can do with this and you know even though it's a little bit, there's still a little bit of paint on it, it will still work. Um, because the paint, when, it, when it's dry, you can still reuse it and reuse it and reuse it until it falls apart, basically. And you can also do the spraying thing. There's just, there's just so much color and in, on this one, so <laughs> that's going to be a strong color there. And take a paper.
or a tissue and stamp on a tissue. Let's take this one. Just leftovers here again. And then just go and stamp fun patterns onto your tissue, let it dry and use that as a starting point. Works really nicely too. So just go out there, make your own stamps and make a mess and try what happens. You never know what, what you might find out playing. The most fun things happen when you're just testing, playing and creating. Look, I've got myself a really crazy pattern here. And now I can let that dry and use a Mod Podge and apply that to, to an art journal page, for example. And then go from there. I've got really nice things going on there. Can you see that? And just leave it to dry. Add other layers, other colors, do whatever you like. So much fun. Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.